And here is one of Canada's most famous landmarks. The world's largest umbrella mine. The mine now produces over 75,000 umbrellas per year, making over one-tenth of the world's total umbrella production. April 28, 1967, marked the opening of an exposition called Man and His World. City born on a thousand acres in the middle of the St. Lawrence River. display was built as a salute to one of America's reigning symbols, the golf ball. It was driven here from New Mexico by an atomic-powered six iron. Anyone see my ball? This is called Habitat. Look, it's an experimental housing development that was built for Expo 67. I wonder what kind of people live in a place like this. Funny man at the door. Who is it, dear? This is Place des Arts, a $38 million monument to the performing arts. It's a great thrill to be out here on a beautiful stage like this, so I have selected one of my favorite tricks. The magic dime trick. Notice the date on the dime. And presto, a mint mark has changed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is too much. Thank you. OK, I guess I'll just practice one joke for tonight's show. Well, this grasshopper walks into a bar. The bartender says, Hey, we got a drink named after you. And the grasshopper says, You mean you got a drink named Fred? Laughter, 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 laughter. Hey, we got a drink named after you. And the grasshopper says, You mean you got a drink named Fred? Laughter, laughter, laughter. Well, we're just like it did in rehearsal. <laughs> okay, here's something you don't often see. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Martin. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is too much. Well, thank you. Thank you. I don't deserve this. Thank you very much. Well, I didn't expect this. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and now, ladies and gentlemen. Rambling around Canada, going to Montreal, hey, and then I'm going to Toronto, hey. Everybody now, come on. Oh, I'm rambling around, and I'm going to rent a car, hey. Well, this is not a sing-along crowd. Okay. You know, folks, I see a lot of entertainers come out, and, well, frankly, they embarrass me, because they try to do anything for a laugh. You know, they come out and get the audience on their side by going, how many people are just visiting from out of town? Everybody goes, oh, I am. I, I would like to. But I don't do that because it is a cheap trick. And I know the audience doesn't enjoy it, and I don't enjoy it, so that's it. And I'm pretty sure the audience doesn't enjoy it. So, well, let's see how many people don't enjoy it. All right. You know, when I, I first started out, I realized I should put a little comedy into the act. You know, I was just playing the old banjo, and... But I don't really have a sense of humor, so I hired some Hollywood comedy writers. And I paid them $3,000, and they wrote a fantastic piece of material for me. And, well, I'd like to do it for you right now. It's pretty funny. I think you're going to enjoy it. 
Think it was worth three grand? <laughs> the napkin trick. people are sitting out there saying to yourself, oh, this is just another banjo magic act. Well, actually, that's not true, because right now I'm going to go into my thrill a minute balloon animal act. I feel great. But let me warn you, kids, stay away from it. It only leads to the harder stuff. Inner tubes and blimps. See how I fill the balloons up with words, and if they pop, they go, hooey! <laughs> See, I hope nobody walks in right now. Oh, look, a female impersonator. <laughs> and now it's time for fun balloon animals. Here we go! Make it a dirty one. <laughs> Venereal disease. <laughs> Actually, what this is, this is a birth control device. And I'll show you how this works. See, if you wear this on your head, then no one will talk to you. Oh, boy. Well, I'd like to get serious just for a moment. Um, you know, I see a lot of comedians come out and, well, frankly, they embarrass me because they try to do anything for a laugh. And that's not where I'm at. You know, I'm into more of a sophisticated kind of thing. In fact, Here's something you don't often see. Ah! Well, it worked just like it did in rehearsal. 